Our stretch of warm and dry weather will continue for today and tomorrow. At this point, we have topped 80 degrees seven days in a row in Flint and nine days in a row in Saginaw. Let's take you back to what's happened over the past 10 days in Saginaw between the 8th and 12th of the month. On the 8th, it was 72, but starting on September 9th, we hit 80 degrees and we have stayed at or warmer than 80 through since then. These were the first four days at 80 degrees. And then over the past five days between September 13th and yesterday, high temperatures, all five of those days were in the 80s. So that's what makes the nine days in a row of topping 80 degrees. Also, in addition to the warmth, we've been dry 11 consecutive days with no rain. Now the record longest streak is 19 days in a row with no rain that occurred back in 1967. That is a record for September, although this record will probably be hard to get to because we do finally have some rain chances in the forecast on Friday. We could run into an isolated shower, although most areas probably stay on the drier side of things. The weekend looks dry early next week, Monday and Tuesday. That's when we have a little bit better chance of a few rain showers heading in our direction. The temperature trend here for the next five days in Saginaw does show readings staying above the 80 degree mark, and that is notable because of this right here. Check this out. Like I mentioned, nine days in a row now with 80 degrees or higher in Saginaw. The record longest during the month of September is 10 days in a row that occurred back in 1921. So we have a shot at tying this record today and then perhaps breaking the all time record for the most 80 degree days in a row during the month of September as we go forward. Now fire danger is going to be in the high category for today. That's because of the warm and dry weather that's ongoing. So caution is advised if you have any outdoor burning plans here for the next couple of days. For today, we'll see high temperatures climbing into the 80s. And watch as we move forward here. I'm going to show you tomorrow's forecast, which also has highs in the low to mid 80s. And then on Friday, we should still top 80 degrees. And then even as we head into the weekend, the numbers here are still coming in higher than 80 degrees. So this impressive stretch of warm temperatures does continue. Here's Sunday, top 80 degrees as well. I think it'll be Monday. We start to drop back a touch upper 70s to near 80 and then early next week we do fall back here into the 70s. So it looks like early next week we'll finally see this lengthy stretch of high temperatures higher than 80 coming to an end. Hour by hour for today we'll see plenty of sunshine, a few more clouds than the past couple of days, but still mostly sunny overall, mostly clear as we make our way through tonight. A little patchy fog is possible first thing Thursday morning. Otherwise, it'll be a mostly sunny day for us. Thursday night, mostly clear, a little patchy fog as possible, and then a few additional clouds move in on Friday, so we'll call it partly sunny to end the week, and we could see an isolated rain shower as well, although it does appear that most areas will stay on the drier side of things. After that small chance of an isolated shower on Friday, we're dry for Saturday and Sunday, and then early next week, Monday and Tuesday, here come those rain opportunities coming in our direction and that is reflected now in the extended outlook. So as we show this to you, we'll be in the low 80s, mostly sunny skies today and tomorrow. Friday, partly sunny with an isolated afternoon shower possible. Saturday and Sunday, partly sunny, still favoring dry weather for the weekend. Again, high temperatures at or slightly higher than 80 for the next five days. And then we'll drop back a little bit with a few rain showers possible Monday and Tuesday. Highs in the mid to upper 70s.